<clears throat> What's up everybody? Wednesday, April 6, 2016, and today is the day that I talk more shit about shoes. This is a special episode because this is the first unboxing episode. And y'all go ahead and give it up for me. Yeah! Yeah, I bet y'all like, man, get the fuck out of here. We give a shit. I know y'all don't. Anyway, yes. Um, today is the day. I'm going to be unboxing a shoe that uh, y'all already, y'all already seen the, sh uh, the shoe before. It came out on a second. And uh, this shoe was, uh, was infamous for, um, it was supposed to come out about a good, maybe like two times. They gave us a date. They said it was, it was supposed to come out this date. They pushed the shit back. And then I was like, okay. Well, the rumor was, okay, well, it's not going to come out on that date. It'll come out on this date. And then after that, the shit got pushed back again. So pretty much, yeah. It was, people were, uh, you know, it's funny because people were talking about, hey, man, the, uh, the shoe keeps on getting pushed back so much that I might even, I don't think I even want to get the shoe. Get the fuck out of here. You're going to get the shoe. That's just how it is. Jordan can always say, uh, Jordan Brand can always say they're going to come out with a shoe. And keep pushing it back on our asses, and we're still gonna fucking get it because the anticipation is building. We're like, man, they keep on pushing it back. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to stun on everybody. And that's the main thing about wearing Jordans is it's stunting. That's why people wear Jordans. People wear J's just to fucking stunt. Oh man, I like the craftsmanship of it, the craftsmanship uh, of the shoe. Oh, I, I just love the design. I like the history about it. Get the fuck out of here. People wear them damn J's a stunt. I said it. And, uh, yeah. Anywho. Um, before we unbox this shoe, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the shoe of the day. Oh, this is what I had on feet today. Toro 4. Yes. Classic. Well, I can't say classic because it's not really like a classic colorway. But, I mean, y'all know how it is. This is going to fucking go hard. And, yeah. And here we go. Oh, hold on. Before I, I actually do this, let me get my out there and my sit first. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Damn, I'm excited, man. This is the first fucking unboxing. Shit. Here we go. I don't have no fancy way of opening the blade, you know, all them, um, you know, like, niggas with butterfly knives, be all that, doing all that shit, anyway, let's go unboxing, here we go, oh, yeah, and it came in a huge box, big ass box, big box head ass nigga, and get your, uh, people, people under the stairs face ass nigga, Uh-oh. Damn. I'm going to cut my fucking finger off. Here we go. Put that away. We got all this nice shit in here. Trying to make make sure the uh the shoe's comfy. Goddamn shoe was in the box like this, asleep and shit, waiting to uh waiting to get to me. Yeah. Take all this mess out. You know it's funny, I don't need to take all this, I don't need to take all this out, but Oh, it's in there. I'm gonna take it out on y'all guys. Bam! Thank you, Nike. Appreciate it. You came through for me. Oh, and here we go. Big box ass. This box is so. This is a big. This is a big ass box. And here we go. Y'all know what it is. French, not Flint, like that one dude that called just kicking it, getting the attitude with old, uh, with old boy. He was just trying to do his job, but, you know, motherfucker had to get an attitude. And that's why the dude who works at just kicking it got in his ass. Y'all should check that out. That shit's on YouTube. It's funny as fuck. And here we go. I wonder if I'm doing an unboxing right This is like my first unboxing, so I know. I want to do it different, because you know how some people, you know, like do unboxing. And they do like this and shit. Or want to wait and talk about it. And keep talking about it. Like, yeah, and do all this. Trying to tease you guys, all that stupid shit. There we go. And shit. Damn. 
size 11 and a half French blue 12 oh, and who man the way the way this is a this is a sexy ass shoe it's like there's nothing like a fresh pair of J's I'm talking about fresh smells good looks good feels good this is like everything you it's like it's like everything everything you want in life man all wrapped into a shoe shit man what I mean what what else what else can I say about this French blue 12 white on I'm gonna keep it see on this channel we keep it we keep it real basic white on the top blue on the bottom silver right here the little uh where the uh, shoelaces go into whatever man factory fresh it's a 12 jump man on the top of the tongue TWO23 going down the tongue red 23 in the back it has the Jordan quality spark. Yeah, y'all already fucking know. Twelve's been out for shit damn near twenty plus years, so you already know what it says. Um I mean this was this was worth the wait. It really was. Um like I said, I mean I mentioned I mentioned it before in other videos, but I mean I just feel sorry for the people who who couldn't wait. Like that one person who who had their money already saved for them and then something serious came up to the point that you know they couldn't get it y'all gotta remember priorities first now this shit sound like a whole after school special uh serious talk shit anyway yeah if you fucked off your money you didn't get it so that's just that's just how it is real talk but don't worry like okay people like if you if you didn't get the shoe don't worry because and we all know how like how Jordans work. This shoe, the shoe comes out on a Saturday. By fucking Monday, the shit's already forgotten about. Because we already know what's what's coming out next. Like they they finally came out, and then you had the wings that uh you know only twelve thousand only 12,000 pairs were made and I already knew it was going to be harder than porno dick to get them bitches so uh, that's why a lot of people didn't get it well, only only 12,000 people got them duh I mean that's just how it is um, but like I said like if you didn't get the shoe don't worry about it because um, you know you, you'll have more J's coming out throughout the year and if you really like 12's what's the next 12 that's coming out it should be the uh, flu games it should be the legit flu games, you know, all leather, you know, like the flu games that came out in the past. I think it was kind of like suede, whatever. But anyway, yeah, we got all leather on them bitches, black and red. Um, shit, but besides that, like I said, like, if you didn't get them, don't worry. Um, everybody, if you have J's, we all took an L before on some J's. And I remember one of my hardest L's I had to take was the, the playoff 12. I was so close to um, but you know, I, I didn't, and I, ta I, I told that story in one of my old, old, old videos. Yeah, man, that, and that's one of my grills too. Playoff 12, black up top, white on the bottom right there. That's like, that's my grill 12. And if that, I hope they come back out. Now I'm hitting shit. <laughs> I hope they come back out again because I, I, I have to get them. It's a must. But yeah, um, shit, man. French Blue 12. Go ahead and, and go ahead and just like the video. Leave a comment if you want. Uh, uh, if you if you got the shoe or not, you know, or you can just I don't know talk about or ask why I wear it, you know, the gloves and shit. Uh, it's because I have no hands. This these are, these are fake, but yeah, fake hands. But yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. So every time I shoot a video out on YouTube. Notification squad, you know, you see me, black ass nigga with the red gloves, holding the shoe. Um, but besides that, hey, y'all take care.
Skip Goes Hard, Binky83 channel, and that's shit. That's mainly it. Peace.